Hello and meow to YouTube. Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be reacting to some Lindsay Nicole. We're going to be doing the giant squid. Who doesn't love squid? You guys love squid? I love squid. Maybe I just love tentacles. You'll never know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I had to do that joke. I apologize. And if you're new here, this is just a regular occurrence that happens within my YouTube, within my stream. So hit the like and subscribe button for more content from me. But that is what we're reacting to today. Lindsay Nicole is linked down below if you would like to go watch the video without my commentary. And hi, hello. If you're new to my channel, I am a biologist. That is what I went to school for. I did graduate. I am now a full-time cat girl on the internet, though. But I am here to spread some awareness, my commentary, all that fun stuff. I'm not here to teach you guys. You guys can get taught wherever you get taught. But I'm just here to show awareness and add some more commentary and make this a lot more fun for you guys to hang out with me and react to some animal content. In this case, squid. But I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. And let's dive on into the video, shall we? Yes, you? I'm wearing the same outfit two videos in a row. And it wasn't an accident. <laughs> She's it was so a real for that. Because this is a very comfortable outfit. Nah, you're real for that. You're real for that. Up. I put it on and this is my work shirt. It's flowy. The arm sleeves are really big. Let me show you my shorts. I've been wearing these shorts. You know what? I love how she has the need to justify her outfit prior to starting the video. She's like, please do not come for me for wearing this same thing twice. I love it. I love her for that. Also, not gonna stand in front of the whiteboard so that I can actually use it. Huh? I'm, I'm oh. never gonna write on it. It's more like a magic TV. I could put up anything <laughs> that I want. Let's uh, get to the fucking video. Let's do it! Let's go! It's squid time. The category today is giant squid. Giant. Let's start off with a little bit of lore. For hundreds of years, humans have retold legends of cryptids like yes, Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, and mermaids and yetis. It's rare that they turn out to actually exist, like the legend of the Kraken. Giants could have only been recognized as real animals for less than 200 years. And since then, we've discovered many species, but we still know very little about them. Somehow these massive creatures that can get to 60 feet long remain hidden in the deep open ocean but 60 feet and we've sent more rovs into the water we've started to catch small glimpses into the lives of these giants of the dark was it there um i don't know if you guys follow this or whatever it's probably like years from now like i don't know like eight years ago ten like years 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 ago didn't one of these big massive squids wash up ashore am i am i delusional am i picturing this or that happened right i feel like that happened because i feel like at the time the science community went nuts but at the same time maybe i'm just hallucinating i don't know to some of them i don't know the man unfortunately <laughs> still small amount of information we have about them uh, but first let's recap the generic squid squids are beepie. cephalopods just like octopuses and cuttlefish they have eight arms yes, and two longer do. tentacles they have a hard beak that's not only used as a mouth but also as a weapon giant squid can do a lot of damage with these to sperm whales they have a tube called a siphon that yes. shoots the squid through the ocean and that's also the opening where they ink they have a mantle with all of their organs inside of it along with a pen a little thin, rigid structure used for support. They also have fins coming off the mantle that they also use to move around. The first giant squid that was ever recognized by science was simply known as the giant squid. <laughs> Not to make shit confusing, <laughs> the scientific name is Architeuthis, so that at least makes it easier to distinguish them, them from other giant squids that are not this giant squid. They're the longest squid that we know of, with a maximum recorded length of 59 feet. But they're typically Whoa. around 30 feet. They have some of the largest- 59 foot squid just vibing in the ocean. Is that his eye? They have some of the largest animal ca What? Only second to the colossal squid? Guys, I'm sorry, but like, look at that size of the eye. It's like the size of your head. Wow. The size in the animal kingdom, only wow. second to the colossal squid. They probably saw yeah, this thing and they were like, yeah. fuck, that's like two giant squids. They're actually shorter <laughs> than the giant squid, but much thicker. And they are the largest invertebrate by mass that we know of. You might that's have noticed cool. that I didn't say the giant squid was the longest invertebrate, only the longest giant squid. That's because the oh. longest invertebrate that we know of is currently a siphonophore, but potentially oh. a worm that was too stretchy to actually measure Wait, might what? get up to 160 feet long. <laughs> What do you, <laughs> what do you mean too stretchy a measure? Did he keep like recoiling around himself or what? How is the worm too squid? What? Surely he was just like, you couldn't actually unravel the worm to properly measure him, right? Like that was what happened there? I personally don't like the idea of a worm that big. Anyway. No, I, I agree with you. A 160 foot worm is astronomical. Picture, picture, picture. I know that this is not happening, but like picture you wake up one morning after the rain has come down and you're like, oh, what a beautiful morning. You hear the birds chirping. You look outside and you see a 160 foot worms slithering across your land or your yard. 
Mind you, it looked like he was kind of like a sea worm. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know where he lives. I don't know about this worm. Maybe I should go Google this worm. But just picture this scenario real quick. We're doing a hypothetical scenario, okay? Like, what would you do? What would be your... Like, what would you do? What's the first thing you do? I guess take a picture and show all your friends so they believe you. Oh, I don't know. Get up to about 46 That's crazy. Feet weigh over 1,100 pounds. And like I said, they wow. have the largest eyes in the animal kingdom at up to a Wait. foot long. They were first identified in what 1925 foot? when two of their arms were found in the stomach of a sperm whale. And since then, only crazy. juvenile specimens have been found. Turns out juveniles spend their time a little bit closer to the surface than adults do. And once they mature, they go further into the depths. Only juveniles talking, like, have been found? Feet down. At least that's our understanding of it. Most of what we know about their whereabouts comes from beaks found inside the stomach. <sighs> from well. so, when a cool video. so when Cthulhu services one day, it's just going to be like, oh yeah, we already knew that Cthulhu existed. This is what I'm hearing. I, I know that's not actually going to happen, you know? But, like, Cthulhu... And I'll make a full screen of the first ever and potentially only video captured of a live colossal squid. That's as far as crazy. we know, they only inhabit the southern ocean surrounding Antarctica and eat things like the Chilean sea bass. Their lifespan, mm, reproductive yummy. behavior, and development are all currently unknown. The next squid is a bit smaller and more well known than the last two, but they definitely deserve to be on this list. Okay. They freak me out. The humble squid, also Damn. known as the red devil. Look at him holding it. Bro, I they are extremely predatory and found a deep the, no wonder they're called the red devil see this is why i i love the ocean the ocean is very fascinating to me but this is why sometimes i second guess myself when i go into the ocean i'm like what if i see something like this like i don't know no, mind you i would never see something like that like i never dive that deep or anything right but i'm just like Hypothetical, you know what I mean? This is all a hypothetical scenario. Extremely predatory and found in deeper waters of the eastern what Pacific they eat, Ocean. Though? They can get up to eight feet long and a hundred pounds. That's and like many cephalopods, they're covered in pigment cells called chromatophores that let them change color to communicate. That's when they're cool. aggravated, they're known to become bright red. Uh, devil. And I've been known to act aggressively uh, towards scuba divers on rare occasion. With what? that information on its own, you're probably like, okay, where's the freaky factor? On their own, they're fine, I guess. But the Humboldt squid is known to live and hunt Whoa. in groups. Up to 10? No. Up to 100? No. In groups of over 1,000, which makes me sick to my stomach. When they're hunting what? in these groups, they're able to go after larger prey and have been known to drag them into the depths so what? that they go unconscious. No thing. Over 1,000 are hunting together. All right. Isn't the ocean magnificent, guys? Isn't there so many cool things that happen in the ocean? Thank you. That's crazy. You that? That's my back. Okay. But at least this next Yeah, that's your back for carrying YouTube with all these animal videos. Awooga. I actually really love Lindsay Nicole videos. One of my favorite content creators for animal content. I love a lot of creators here, as you guys know. Almost I, anyone I react to on this channel, I love. And you guys just introduced me to more Extinct so I will be adding more Extinct into the collection. But I love, I love creators like this. One is a little bit cuter, at least by my standards. The Dana octopus squid. It's called an octopus squid because it has eight arms and no tentacles, kind of resembling an octopus. Turns out that that's interesting. Babies, they do have the tentacles, but as they get bigger, what? the tentacles shrink and become oh. little nubs. And their arms are really interesting. They have hooks lining them all the way down to the tips, Why? and then at the tips are suckers. But at the tips of two of those arms are massive photophores, light-producing organs like the lures of anglerfish. But on this squid, the photophores are gargantuan and are actually the largest light That's producing cool, organs of any animal that we know of and most of the specimens of this squid have been found in the stomachs of sperm whales of course. i had a moment when i was researching when i was like how and why are we opening up so many sperm whale stomachs then i remembered it used to be legal to hunt them and then i read that one whale they opened up had four thousand squid beaks inside of it and one fully intact squid which is crazy to think about with no previous knowledge of how much mass a sperm what? whale stomach can hold you know Sounds no, well, your sperm whale is massive to begin with. I didn't realize that it was legal to... Like, why are you hunting a sperm whale? Like, for their... Like, I guess people are... Are you not... See, I can't, I can't function. I guess people are eating sperm whale, right? But I don't know. I, at least we have all these science advancements that came out of the sperm whale like when he was legal to hunt, but... It makes me so sad with, like, such big, majestic beauties like this. We're legal to hunt, and now, like, you know, we're suffering with populations of them due to overhunting them. The Dana octopus squid can get to about seven feet long, and it turns out they have a worldwide distribution, <laughs> are found as deep as 4,000 feet in different kinds of oceanic well, cool. habitats, but they are somehow extremely rare to see. I don't know. When you Wait, think what? about how many giant squid must exist just to keep all of those sperm whales alive and we never see them, it's kind of crazy. 
All right, arguably the most popular giant squid on social media right now is it's the big fin squid. Fin squid. Oh, him! Popular because of their long arms and freaky ass elbows. He and looks unfortunately, freaky. we don't know a lot about them. But we do know. Oh, no! No! Guys, we need a giant squid ASAP to come to surface so we can learn more. <laughs> Them. <laughs> so that they're typically between 13 and 26 feet long. And most of that so length comes from long. their spaghetti-like arms and tentacles, which they hold at a perpendicular angle to their body to create what looks like elbows. They've been spotted as deep as 16,000 feet. And all over their appendages wow. are microscopic suckers. Scientists don't know exactly how they use them, but they hypothesize that they might hang them, dragging them along the sea floor, waiting for prey to bump into them. Like a jellyfish. That I'm mention or I guess you're like Porky's man of war who does like the same thing. But with him, you know, he kills anything that touches his tentacles, but he just lets his tentacles drag up behind him for his predators or for his prey to walk into. So it's probably like the squid just drags himself around until he feels something and then goes after a question mark. Even less to Kinda say cool, about them, though. I'm really just acknowledging their existence. There's the robust club hook squid, which is found in the Pacific Ocean. Their mantle can reach about six and a half feet long, and they typically Crazy. live at least 1,600 feet below the surface. In recent years, they've been washing up on the Puget... Pu... Pu... Puget... <laughs> Puget Sound shore intermittently. And sometimes get mistaken for Humboldt squid, the red devils. And what makes them okay. unique is in their name. They have hooks on the clubs of their tentacles. Club hook. 15 hooks on each. There's also the giant warty squid, what? which is just so unnecessarily rude. The largest individual was found in Antarctica in 2000. It was seven and a half feet long. There's also Galatusis fulura. Well, I look think at him. that's how you pronounce it. They're a type of glass squid, also known as cockatoo squid, whose mantle can apparently reach almost nine feet long. Why did they have the um, name cockatoo squid? Ah, 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 so I believe interesting. that would make it the second largest mantle after the colossal squid. And Asparotuthis acanthoderma. As far as Look I know, they him. don't have a common name, but they absolutely need one. They're really cool. Their feeding tentacles are up to 12 what? times the length of their mantle. This is based what? on one complete squid that had those proportions and ended up being about 18 feet long, tentacles included. What? Scientists have also found an individual with a larger mantle, but missing the tentacles. But applying the same proportions How? as the fully intact squid would give this one a total length of 30 feet long. So we That's need to come crazy. up with a name for that. And hopefully, as we continue to explore the deep sea, we'll find out more about these Hopefully. Next time, I'm going to be showing you an animal that will probably trick you the first time you see it. It tricked me. So make sure you subscribe. What, to what animal are you going to show us? If you want to connected with my short form content that I put out every day, you can follow me on Instagram yes. or TikTok. Until then, stay curious. The world has a lot for us to learn. See ya. Oh, stay curious, guys. We will always stay curious here. I uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if you guys could tell. I don't know anything about squids, precisely large squids. I... I don't know much at all. Kind of fascinated. Kind of want to go do more research now to learn more about whatever. But exactly what she said, like, as our deep sea technology is advancing and evolving and getting better and stronger and being able to push to new heights and to limit, we might be able to see potentially soon in our lifetime more about all these weird fascinating creatures that live like sixteen thousand feet below and if you are wondering why we actually don't know anything about them most uh squids live around the twilight zone which is currently inaccessible to most humans and research equipment and that's why i'm saying as research equipment evolves we're going to hopefully start to know more about them it's also a challenge because it is a high pressure ocean environment with really no light down there at all to get the research done and all of our research and all of our knowledge does come from washed up and or dead whales and or like she said um parts in the sperm whale stomach or whatever it may be so that is what we're basing all of our knowledge on right now so it's gonna be cool to see in the next couple of years to 10 20 years whatever it may be how far and how much more we'll learn about the giant squid if you made it all the way to the end of this video comment down the squid and or octopus uh, octopus emoji i don't know which one it is i think it's an octopus it might be a squid but comment down that emoji it just shows appreciation and that you made it all the way to the end of this video and i will give you a, guys another little easter egg what is your favorite giant squid did he show up in this video do you guys have a favorite giant squid please let me know down below as well i really would like to hear more about it and thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Goodbye.